Hi. Today I'm going to discuss cutting a compound taper on a butt. Now, as you all know, most cues have one taper that runs the full length of the cue. A compound taper is usually one taper to this point, the A joint, and then a different taper from here on in. And that's easy to define in cue cut. But what a lot of people don't stop to think of is that you can actually cut this taper, cut a wrap groove, and then finish the taper over here. It's just another compound taper. But rather than defining this point here where the taper changes, you're going to define four data points. The end of the forearm, the end of the butt sleeve, and then also, just to, to protect those when you're machining it, you're going to stop, define a point a little bit over this way and a little bit over this way so that when you undercut this wrap groove, you don't accidentally cut into your forearm or your butt sleeve. Uh, I will show you how to do that. Uh, I'd also like to talk about defining the taper per inch on your cue. Uh, a few people have had questions about that. And essentially what you do is you take the difference between the large end of your cue and the small end and divide that by the length of the cue. That gives you your taper per inch. Now in a case like this, this cue is 1 inch 270 here. Well, it will be. It's now uh, about 35 thousandths oversized because I have inlays to put in here yet. But when it's finished, it'll be 1 inch 270 here and 840 here, which works out to um, 0.43 difference in the diameters. Well, if I divide 0.43 by 29 inch overall length, that will tell me the amount of taper for every inch. I believe it works out to 0 0.0148 for this particular taper. Uh, I'll show you a formula for that later and uh, actually do the calculation so it's more clear. But uh, now I'm going to go into Q-Cut and show you how we actually define these four data points to create this compound taper. I'll see you there. Okay, let's go into Q-Cut. Now what I'm going to do is go to the tapered components and these are actually the settings I used when I cut that cue that I just showed you. Uh, I generated a program using the small diameter, the length of 29 inches, feed rate of 20 inches per minute, and I used taper number one. But what I actually did was I used the compound taper. And the one I used was for a butt with a wrap groove. But what I'm going to do is show you how to create your own taper. So we'll start down here. We'll add a compound taper. So we'll call that 1.270 with a wrap. First thing we have to do, you can see how the numbers that we're in here lend up a curve or a bend to this taper. So I'll turn off these data points, which straightens the line. Now I want my taper to go from 840 to 1 inch 270. So I'll change this to 1 inch 270. And now I want to define my data points. Now the first one that I'm going to define, my A joint is 12 and a quarter inches from the joint face. And the end of my wrap area is 24 and a half inches away. That's already in there. Now Kelly's got an update to cube cut that allows the program to actually determine the diameter at these data points. So at 12 and a quarter inches from the joint face, using this taper from 840 to 1 inch 270, all I have to do is right click on this diameter. The taper I'm going to use is the 14.8 and see how that corrected that and got rid of this funny dip that was in there. Now I'll go over to here and again I'll right click on it, auto fill with the correct taper 
and there was a, a slight bump there too. Okay, the thing is, I want to stay a little bit shy, give myself that cushion that I talked about. So, just to be generous, I'm going to add a quarter inch to this. So we'll make that 12 and a half inch, and I'm going to subtract a quarter inch from this, make it 24.25. Well, I have to change, I have to correct these diameters here too. So again, I will correct that, right click here, and correct that. Now, you don't really want your cutter to plunge right into that wrap groove. So I'm going to have a transition area so that uh, the cutter can ease into that wrap groove. For the sake of easy math, let's make that transition area 100 thousandths long. So this data point, I'll add 100 thousandths to this and make it 1 inch or 12 inch 600. And this one, I'll do the same thing. Boy, that, that looks funny, but don't worry, we'll take care of that. This one here, we're going to subtract 100 thousandths from this distance. So that would be 24.15. Boy, that looks weird, doesn't it? Well, what we have to do is correct these diameters. So I just right click here, auto fill. Boom, straightens it out. But we have a problem here yet, too. So right click, auto fill, and now we have a straight diameter. Now, to define our wrap groove, what we will do is we'll subtract 50 thousandths from this dimension here. So that would be 0 0.976. And here's our first step down for the wrap groove. And then we'll subtract 50 thousandths from this one to take that down to 1.147. And again, right click, autofill to correct the diameter, and boom. Now you have your taper with your wrap groove for a cue that's got built around these dimensions. Now I'll save this. And see how this is highlighted in red? That means that we haven't saved these defaults completely. So I go up to File, Save the Defaults. And now, this is one of my uh, tapers, compound tapers, that I have filed in here. I have one for a tapered core, one for a 22-inch shorty butt, an 11-inch jump handle, a step core for my forearm, and here's my original butt with wrap groove. Now for the sake of this discussion, let's create another taper for a cue that has uh, a thinner handle. Say a customer wants one where the handle is only 1 inch 230 at the big end. So what we can do, we can create a whole new taper or we can work from the existing taper. So I'll hit Edit Compound and this is the taper we have now. What we want to do is we want to change this to a cue that's got a 1 inch 230 small diameter. I'll change the name to 1 inch 230. These data points are going to be the same. The only thing that's really changing in this cue are the diameters. So I can maintain these same data points. Right click in here and because this has got a smaller taper, this 1 inch 025 dimension is going to get smaller. Now, for the 1 inch 230 taper, that's this one here. That's uh, 0134 taper per inch. So I'll click that, and that 1 inch 025 drop down. I'll do the same here. Right click here, auto fill with the smaller taper. That took care of that. Now we still have to correct these. Again, I'll just autofill, autofill. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that looks good. We have a straight line that's generating the taper from 840 to 1 inch 230. 
Now again, we subtract 50 thousandths from this one, which would be 0.959. And we enter that, that gives us the groove. 50 thousandths from this one, there we go. Okay, now we want to save our new set of parameters here. So I click on save, but if you recall, I was editing an existing taper. And when I go to save this, it re Kelly's program recognizes that this was already a, an existing taper that I might want to save. So it gives me the option here, do I want to rename and overwrite that existing taper, or do I want to add a new taper with a new name? Well, I'm going to add a new taper with a new name. So when it goes back here, again, this shows up in red, which means that the defaults have not been saved. I go up to File, Save Defaults, OK. Now, I have two new programs here, the 1-inch 230 with a wrap and a 1-inch 270 with a wrap. So now, armed with this new taper, if a customer wants a cue using these, this thinner handle, I can cut it and rough that butt section in with the wrap groove every time I take a cut on it. I don't have to wait until it's almost finished and then cut the wrap groove. I can do this all the time. All I do is enter the diameter here. Say the cue is 920 diameter at the joint and I want to take a cut to bring it down to 890. I can just type in 890 create the g-code and now that program is set to cut a cue oversized but with a wrap groove makes it much easier and here's that formula I promised you for figuring out the taper per inch of your cue I hope this helps